Good Thursday evening. It is Eric here with Weather for Weather Geeks here on the fifth day of May. It's Cinco de Mayo, and our weather today improved as expected across the area after a pretty gloomy day on Wednesday. We saw some sunshine today, and it was a more seasonable afternoon. Over the last month, you know, and this is no big surprise for mid-spring, really, but consistency's been pretty hard to come by. We've had a lot of up and down temperature regimes over the last month look at all these peaks and valleys we we get a few warm days then we get a few cool days then it warms up again for a few days this has been the pattern now for a few weeks at least uh, a few weeks if not several weeks in a row but we're getting set to head into a blocky kind of weather pattern next week which we'll talk about at the end of this video and that will pay uh, great dividends for us other parts of the country not so much but uh, we will be on the right side of that kind of stopped up weather pattern all right time lapse from niles today showing the brighter conditions clouds then did thicken up late in the afternoon and into the evening and these clouds are starting to yield just a touch of rain this is you know, sprinkles and very light rain here and there as uh, we hit the seven o'clock hour this evening all of this is quite light but it's just beginning uh, I, I do think that a steadier rain will push in as we go deeper into the evening that's this stuff out here towards the i-71 corridor in central Ohio. All of this is part of a kind of a sprawling low pressure system which is uh, just gonna take its sweet time pushing east over the next couple of days. Severe weather threat this evening farther south and east than we had yesterday. Um, parts of Texas under a tornado watch, parts of Louisiana as well. Severe thunderstorm watches extend up into the Tennessee Valley. Now as we go into the day tomorrow the severe weather threat will shift east. It'll be south of us but a pretty elevated risk of severe weather tomorrow across, across parts of the southeastern U.S., even as far north as maybe the Ohio River, down towards Parkersburg, Marietta, and down into eastern Kentucky, southern West Virginia. That's where a couple of heavy storms could push through. I think we'll be too cool and stable once you get off into uh, central Ohio and eastern Ohio and western PA as well. So severe weather is not a concern, but yeah, it's going to be a soggy period. Wet weather shown on our high-res future cast throughout the overnight tonight and most importantly as we head off to work and school tomorrow morning just be ready for a wet start to the day on friday the wet weather tomorrow morning uh, the steady rain associated with the warm front all part of this system now the steadiest of the rain will probably try to push off to the east as we get into the afternoon it's not gonna be very nice outside in the afternoon but the rain may not be quite as consistent and as steady as early in the day Maybe some spotty showers, though, for the afternoon. Then I do think rain will try to become steadier again as we head into the evening. As the center of this low makes its closest approach to us, eventually this low will start pushing to the south as we go into the day on Saturday. But it'll still be close enough Saturday morning to give us some steady rain. So Saturday morning will probably uh, have very similar weather to what we'll have Friday morning. And much like Friday in the afternoon, the rain's probably not as steady. Uh, the rain may, might even shut off for a time in the afternoon on Saturday. One more sprinkle or two in the evening on Saturday, but then after that, we won't see raindrops again for several days. The, the improvement really starts on Sunday. But while flooding's not a big concern around here, uh, the flash flood risk, a little, the risk of a little too much rain, will probably ramp up not far to our south and east, closer to our to Pittsburgh, and into southern PA and down into West Virginia. And most of our TV viewing area, I think we're going to average an inch to an inch and a half worth of rain. Uh, one of our models here suggests two inches. I, I guess I couldn't rule out some localized amounts up to two inches, especially in our southern viewing area between now and Saturday evening. This isn't all coming at once. This is a 48-hour period, but in that 48 hours, I think a lot of us are going to see at least an inch of rain. inch and a half will maybe be a good average and maybe some localized amounts up to two inches. But for Mother's Day on Sunday, as promised, this is a better day. Mid-60s, more seasonable, and a mostly sunny afternoon coming up on our Sunday. The pattern next week, I mentioned it gets kind of blocky next week. We even see this, the beginnings of this by the end of the weekend with that low that brings us the rain kind of cutting off and getting stuck for a little while along the mid-Atlantic states. In the meantime, a big trough of low pressure pushing into the northwestern U.S. and a ridge will start to build in between these features and all of this will become just more and more amplified as we go into uh, the middle portions of next week. So you still have a, a low pressure system kind of stuck over the southeastern U.S. You have this big deep trough along the west coast, unsettled and cold out there, but in between those systems, yeah, this is where you want to be. This is almost kind of what we call an omega block pattern. Kind of looks like the Greek letter omega uh, with the 
big troughs and then big ridges, and where we want to be is right in here underneath this ridge. I think we're going to have a fantastic stretch of weather starting Sunday, but really continuing into next week. It'll be warmer. It'll also be dry. I think we'll have several rain-free days in a row starting Sunday and taking us through at least Thursday and Friday of next week. And I think we're going to see highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s starting around midweek and probably taking us all the way through that following weekend. So uh, what would that be? That'd be like the 14th and 15th that weekend, the kind of middle of the month. Uh, a little too early to talk about precipitation chances uh, nine and ten days out, but uh, high confidence that the warm pattern is likely to continue right through that weekend. So hang in there. Things are going to improve in a hurry starting on Sunday, but a couple of clunkers to contend with for Friday and for Saturday. In the meantime, thank you for watching tonight. I'll see you back here, same time, same place, on Friday.